Thank it. Thank you. It's great. Kate joins us again. We're talking a lot of rain. A lot of rain. The only thing worse than a lot of rain would be a lot of snow. Don't say it. In the days <laughs> leading up to Christmas, but it's still pretty bad for yeah. travelers out there. Lots of slow going. The worst is overnight tonight, and then by midday tomorrow, the worst is going to start to move out. But okay. overnight tonight, we could pick up one to three inches of Ooh, rain. My goodness. Possibly bloody. even some higher Ooh. amounts. That's right, because yeah. we still have saturated soil from the storm that impacted us just this past weekend. We've dried out pretty nicely over the past couple of days, but it's not going to take much to start flooding once again. And if we get into some of those heavier pockets of rain, I am concerned about isolated areas of flash flooding as well overnight and into tomorrow morning. So let's get right into it. We'll see what this looks like. We'll start off right now in Philadelphia. We looked at this Parkway Central Library camera yesterday and it was clear and dry. No problems now. Completely different story around Logan Square. Everything is very slow. The roads are wet. The camera lens is dotted with raindrops and it's only going to get heavier before it gets any better. Things are certainly going downhill through tonight. Now temperatures are actually rising. We've added a few degrees to pretty much every temperature on the map here in the past hour. It was 40 degrees last hour in Philadelphia. Now we're up to 42. Mount Pocono finally above freezing, which is good news as the rain moves that way. And we're in the 50s here in Atlantic City, Millville, Wildwood, and down into Dover. So warm, moist air lifting in with this system. It is going to warm up tomorrow. We'll be in the 60s, but not a whole lot of time to get out and enjoy it. So here's the first round, and you can see how it's intensifying down around D.C. and Baltimore right now. But even heavier rain lays in wait through the Carolinas, back into Tennessee, and into portions of Kentucky. And this is all moving to the north and east through tonight and into tomorrow. It'll impact really the entire northeastern United States and even down into the mid-Atlantic and southeast coast as well. 11 o'clock, we start to see some of the heavier downpours move through. Make sure you tune in right back here at 11. We'll have the latest on a very active radar picture. Overnight, same story, 3 a.m. Look at these heavy pockets of rain. If we get stuck under one of these, any area that sees this could see an inch or two of rain in a short period of time, leading to the risk for flash flooding. 7 a.m., rain and thunder. Then by midday tomorrow, the heaviest starts to lift into southern New England. We will start to gradually dry out, but I do think showers will linger right into late tomorrow night and even overnight into Saturday morning before it finally clears out a bit. Still mostly cloudy Saturday, but certainly much, much drier. So rain intensifies through this evening from 8 o'clock through 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. That 12 hour period will be the heaviest rain and the strongest winds through the day tomorrow. Periods of rain early scattered showers, a rumble of thunder, and then drying out by early Saturday morning. But our flood watch has now been extended right through 1 a.m. Saturday. Thanks to the saturated soil, expect roadway and poor drainage flooding. And we do have a wind advisory kicking in at midnight for the shore points in Delaware. Gust to 40 miles an hour around the city, but to 50 miles an hour along the coast. So overnight tonight, rain and wind temperatures will gradually rise back to around 50 degrees. Tomorrow starts off with heavy rain. It'll gradually, gradually taper through the day and then temperatures drop into the weekend. Saturday will be windy. That could cause just a few slowdowns at the airport thanks to the wind. But otherwise, the trend is toward improvement through the weekend and into next week. Actually, wow. Sunday right through the start of Christmas, the start of Kwanzaa. Looks pretty quiet with temps in the 40s and sunshine. The trend is toward improvement. Nice. We just got to get through that. tonight and tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you, Kate. Sure. Still ahead on.